But playing it live is incredible because I, I kind of turn into a conductor up there, you know? So the first chorus is really to teach everybody who doesn't already know the song. Like, I think about you a lot. Wish I could undo a lot. Hey friends, it's your girl, Emily Curl, and today we're hanging out with my friend, singer and songwriter, John Kay. John, it's so hey. good to see you. It's been a long time, how are you? It's been so long, truly two years, but again, I'm just so happy to see you. We're on Zoom, maybe soon we'll see each other in person, but for now, we're gonna hang here. I feel like since the last time I saw you, truly, so much has changed, like for you, not only as an artist, but in your personal life. Can we dive in with that? You became That's, a dad, congratulations. Thank you so much. Uh, how is uh, how is dad life treating you? You just, uh, you know, all the cliches are true. Like you immediately fall in love. Your life is immediately changed. Like you, you, all the little things you used to maybe care about or that used to bug you, like don't even matter anymore. It's all about, I will do anything to make sure that this little guy has the best life ever. Oh my God. I mean, and I feel like it's been so special. You've let us in on so much on social media, which I loved, like even seeing the relationship with your wife, that's so special. You talked about going on tour, which we're gonna get to, but leaving her for a little bit of time, I think it was like a month or so, but that was the first time y'all had been apart in forever. How yeah. has this experience been for you, like getting back on the road and back into that? And again, like just having to leave your family even for a little bit. It was scary leading up to it because we have gotten really comfortable, you know, being able to operate out of the same house and we love spending time together. So it was, it was scary beforehand looking at, you know, an entire full four weeks and, and then some apart. Um, but I also, in my mind, because my son is here and I'm leaving my wife and, and I would rather be with them at home, I told them and I told myself and I tell myself every single day that if I'm going to be away from my family, I'm going to make it the most efficient, the most effective. Like, I am going to be perfect on the road. And it's been an incredible thing because I've seen us both really growing, my wife and I growing apart and wanting to be better for it when we are able to be together again. So it's been super inspiring on both parts and we keep each other going. And, you know, we were a little long distance before um, we ever got together because I was living in Nashville and she was living in Orlando at first. So our foundation is long distance and we're able to communicate well. I think that that was a blessing in disguise. We didn't, it, you know, it sucked at first being long distance, but now looking at it like, oh, we we actually know how to do this. Well, let's talk about tour for a second because you're on the road to Marky Basie, which is so exciting. And what's interesting is I was looking on your Instagram and so Boston, you just recently played, was the last city you played in before the world shuts down. And then you go and play this show now. I mean, when you think about just the juxtaposition of that show and then to now, like how much your life has changed, you're back on stage, that had to just be a wild experience for you. What was that like? Incredible. It's it just, it, it, it's re-inspired me as an artist to have that, like that's the celebration of the music that you spend so many years creating. You know, that's such, and I, I didn't realize how big a part performing is for me in my process. I, I kind of forgot for a while because it was more about, you know, jumping on Zooms like this and, and talking, throwing around ideas and writing and writing and writing. And I forgot the point of all the writing was to be able to have this incredible moment with people where you're sharing a moment and now to see like i don't even know these people in boston and they're they know every single word of if we never met and we're singing it together and i want to transition i want to talk about your new music too let's talk about a lot your new song out now which was a really personal song for you i want to hear about the inspiration by that and i also want to hear about playing that song live because i'm sure that's a big moment for you too yeah no a lot uh a lot is a lot is really really cool it's it's, it's a sneaky song it's tricky because like I fell in love with it right away. And it just was one of those songs that stayed in my, I couldn't get it out of my head. And it, it was so sticky and always, I was like, I think about you, stop, like stop singing this song, please. And so I knew that there was something there. And um, it was, uh, I feel like we tapped into a word that we use so often and we were able to, to, use it almost like our song happiness where it's kind of like this sad song wrapped in a happy package and it sounds upbeat and it sounds happy and it feels good but it's got some depth underneath the surface when you when you dive into the lyrics you're like 
this actually has something and it's something a lot of us have, have felt before. It's like, you're not able to really move on. And the way I connected to it is imagining if for whatever reason, probably me doing something stupid, I wasn't with my, my wife anymore. Like I would be living that, that out. And that was the inspiration going into the music video is like being in going, walking into the same places and doing the same things, just having to do them alone. And that's really, really sad. And it's something that a lot of people have experienced, something I've experienced and something a lot of people have had to go through. And it was doing it in a way that is like insanely, uh, you know, in the industry, we use the term sticky and it gets in your head and never comes out. That's the goal. But playing it live is incredible because I, I kind of turn into a conductor up there. You know, so the first chorus is really to teach everybody who doesn't already know the song. Like, I think about you a lot. Wish I could undo a lot. And when you start giving them that so by good. the second chorus, the whole crowd is like, a lot, <laughs> a lot. And they're singing it back to me. And so by the end of the song, it is a really cool moment where I'm like, do you think about me? Because I think about you. And I give it to the entire crowd and the whole crowd. And they go nuts. <sighs> Um, I also want to talk about too with that song. Like you said, how it's changed your perspective on a lot of things. Like in what in this season of life, what do you feel like your perspective has changed on? And maybe it is like again, your grown family that you have that. But that song in particular struck me when you said that. I went through a lot inside quarantine. Um, I I really really hard period of time where I started to second guess if I was even good at this. I started started to get in my head like you know like is this what i'm supposed to do and what does it mean if if the answer is no and how do i power through this and how do i get how do i get it back like how do i get this my smile back or my wink back or like that light thing like it it, it got really heavy and not knowing you know i think that it, it did for a lot of people too like and it was kind of a weird when are we going to come out of this whatever this thing is. It gave me an opportunity to kind of fall in love with, with the simple things and being um, alone with myself, um, being you know, really locked in with my wife and having time to really enjoy my son's first six months on earth. And I'll, I'm always grateful for that. And then him being here was also like inspiring musically in a lot of different ways because it was this purging and this changing and this getting all the things i didn't like about myself out like the best way i can describe it is like instead of seeing things the way i wanted them to be i was just seeing them as they were i was seeing tr i was seeing myself in truth and the things that didn't line up with truth needed to come out and that they were th there were things that held me back that were some subtle and some big, but all things that I needed to address and things that I needed to get rid of once and for all. And, and thank God that I did. And I'm so thankful for that time and that hard period of time to look at myself, like not as I used to see myself in the mirror, but like the things that I was actually doing and that the areas I could have actually improved. And it happened right before, you know, we went on this tour and now I feel like I did get my smile back and I'm able to connect people and I'm able to like we're touring totally different than I ever imagined I would be touring I'm I'm actively looking for gyms on the road I'm working out every single morning that I can I'm 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 fighting this tour rather than having it get on top of me did you have a moment that you felt like you had a life affirming moment where you were like this exact moment oh I'm I'm actually in the right path and I know it because of this thing that happened the first show you say I said to myself just I am doing what I was put on this earth to do you like the biggest life affirming moment ever. And, and it came at a price too, because it's all the pressure of, okay, I'm leaving my family for this. I don't know exactly what this is going to look like. And then you get out there and you connect with people and you see people like, like that have come up to you and just say, your music helped me get through a really hard time. And I was singing everywhere. I came from this city all the way over just to see you. And, it's it's mind blowing. We had a, an incredible moment in Chicago where um, the day before the show, a couple had uh, sent me a message on Instagram and said, hey, I Love You More is our wedding song. And I don't know if you're going to play it in the set, but it would mean a lot to us. And I didn't respond to the DM. I just 
saw it and then I, I talked to the band before and we just learned like a little bit of the chorus and I stopped the whole show. I said, I had a DM sent and they, they're up in like the balcony up there and I like wait to them and we sing it just for them and dedicate it to them and like being able to create a moment that they'll have for the rest of their life and that we shared together was just so special and just looking for opportunities to make people smile and to make people have a moment if i can create that for somebody then like i already feel like and know that i'm doing what i was called to do but having that extra motivation to go above and beyond and just connect with people and give them something that might be really special for them uh, makes it all worth it. And on that same note, you know, can we expect more music? Are you are you writing things in that same vein? Yeah, it's been a it's been a whirlwind of just like new inspiration and and, and now having a little bit of the perspective of getting some live feedback. It's it's super inspiring to then take all of that and say like, how can we go in in the studio now and create records that I can't wait to sing live to connect with people further and to you know, we get to see these moments like actually work and what were those things that did that and how can we kind of use that to go that now write the next wave. But we're feeling really, really good about the next album. I like where we're at and I still have a, a couple more weeks of writing to squeeze even more out of it. But yeah, there's a lot of new music that I'm really excited about. Thanks for checking out our interview with John Kay. Make sure you stream all of his music, including his new single, A Lot, out now on iHeartRadio and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye guys.